Hello buddy, it's Ben down there, and welcome to Pokemon Fire Red version. Now, this is gonna be a little different. I've tried like one or two, I've, I've tried one less play for Pokemon on my channel, which was in fact this game. And I've done two verses with Sammy Does Stuff a while back, which are both really fun. Um, but today we're gonna be doing a randomizer, which I've actually never done on the channel, and I have done before in general, but I haven't really gotten too far in any of them. So I'm really excited to see what this um, randomizer brings. And yeah, we're just going to kind of jump into it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, it's just going to kind of replay the intro. I don't want that. Don't do that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get started. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into it. See what happens. Press start. Uh, alright. I don't know what that is. I think it has something to do with, um, ROMs, I guess? I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, this is just explaining all the buttons. We know all this. We know how to play Pokemon. Uh, I'll kind of, if you guys don't know what a randomizer is, I'll kind of explain it as we go. But, um, yeah, let's just get through this intro first, and I'll kind of just talk about it as we go along. So that if you don't know what a randomizer is, or you've never seen them, that you can kind of, uh, understand what we're doing here. Uh, alright, so Oak says, hello, glad to meet you, welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon, my name's Oak. Uh, so yeah, this is just kind of the beginning that we've seen already, and as you can see, a Pokemon has already been randomized. Um, so I guess I can just talk about it now since I'm not really gonna read through this, because if you play Pokemon, you, you know what this is, this is just an introduction to everything. Um, but yeah, so... Pretty much what a randomizer is, is it randomize. there's randomizers for all kinds of different games. Uh, but for po in uh, Pokemon's case, uh, it randomizes every single wild Pokemon encounter. And it also randomizes the Pokemon that you get from like, like it'll randomize what the starter Pokemon are. So like, for example, if I walk into the wild and I encounter a Pokemon in the wild, it could literally be any Pokemon. In this case, from the first three generations. Because uh, this is Generation 3. Uh, so it goes up to like... It goes up to Generation 3 in Pokemon. So I can encounter any Pokemon. Same goes for a trainer battle. So a trainer could literally have any Pokemon. My rival here, he could have any Pokemon. We're gonna name him Gary just because... Uh, I don't know. Just because uh, that's what he's called in the show. And I usually like to go by what their name actually is, so... But yeah, so, and I believe even items are going to be randomized, so if I open this PC and I withdraw an item, and it's this, I guess it's not randomized? I guess it's, I guess the items aren't random, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, turn off. So, what I'm actually going to do is, I want that on fast. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, but yeah, so I believe that we still got potion. I kind of sworn that would be random, but maybe not. All right. Uh, do we have to talk to you? I forget. I don't think we have to. Uh, let's go ahead and try to walk in the tall grass. So the intro here is. We kind of know. Uh, why is it not showing text? That's kind of weird. Maybe I should turn it back on in slow mode. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Maybe it's a problem with the, like, a bug. Uh, so we can't read any of that. Oh. I kind of saw it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's change, let's change the text speed. Uh, I did not think that would happen. Uh, let's do mid. Is that gonna... Yeah. Alright, that's fine. So, let's hope this works. Yes! Uh, so, option one is a Geodude. Now, I, I will preface this. For the uh, starters, I did make it so it does randomize to a basic Pokemon with two evolutions. So, we have to get... Um... Oh god, uh, I don't really like any of these choices. 
I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with you, dude. I think. Because I need happiness for this, and I don't want to do that. Even though Pikachu, like Raichu, will probably be good, and like... No. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna do Geo, dude. Let's do Geo, dude. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep him throughout the whole playthrough. Uh, no, I don't want- I don't want a nickname. This isn't a Nuzlocke, so... I'm just doing like a plain randomizer. Okay, he's taking a Wizmer, which will be interesting. Uh, alright, so I guess uh, we're gonna get out of here, but he's gonna wanna- of course he's gonna want to do a battle with us, so we might as well get that out of the way. We'll kind of see how this goes. I'm not sure what Geodude's gonna start with. I hope he starts with something that can uh, that can actually attack here. Uh, all right. So yeah, we know how battles work. We know all this. Uh, okay, so we got Tackle and Defense Curl, which is actually a very good starter move set for now. Uh, we can definitely work with that. Alright, so you're gonna do Up War Roar, and that's not very effective. Like, this is a very good, like, standard starter, I think, that'll get us through at least the beginning of the game. I don't know how long we'll keep around this GOV for, but, um, hopefully a long time. Hopefully he'll be a good asset to the team but he might get replaced or maybe we'll find i don't know we we're either gonna find really good stuff or we're gonna find pretty trash stuff maybe something in between we the thing the fun thing about randomizers is, is you don't know you never know what's gonna happen because when you play a pokemon game before like you kind of have an idea of what areas might have what even if you haven't played before like you can assume that you're probably like i can walk in the tall grass i can find literally anything and that, it's just so exciting uh, so yeah, that was pretty easy. Um, the only problem with this is there's no physical special split, which might make this a tiny bit more difficult than it would be otherwise, but I picked Fire Red because I thought it would be like the most basic uh, game and it would probably be the easiest one for me to finish just because I played this game so many times. I know like the whole layout and everything. Out of any Pokemon game, like Kanto, I just know... And I'm sure a lot of people also feel this way, like, I just know how to get through Kanto so easily, and it's... I think this would be the most interesting for me to, like, start actually doing a randomizer. So that's why I picked it. It's a simple start, and, uh, maybe if, we, if this goes well, I'll do some more... Some more of the co more complex Pokemon games. So let's see what we run into here. Um... Blade All. Uh, not really interested in you... Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh god, that's not good. I don't want you to do that. Am I gonna do, like, any damage? Uh... Hmm, you know what? I'm just gonna run. Can I, go... can I get away from this? I don't want to be part of that. What else can we find here? I'm just curious. Okay, we got a Zatu. Uh... We should be able to kill this one for experience, at least. Uh, hopefully that goes well. But yeah, I think this will be really fun. I'm definitely excited for this. Tackle. Get another tackle in, that should be good. Uh, and yeah, so there's Zatu down. Happy about that. Geodude's already level 7, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead uh, into Viridian City, and I guess take this uh, opportunity to use the Pokemon Center. Uh, alright. Thank you for the Pokemon Heal. And I guess we'll just continue on our way. Uh, so what do we want to do next? We want to just, uh, kind of explore the other routes. Oh yeah, what we gotta do is we gotta take the, uh, I forgot we gotta do the, I say I played through this game so many times that I know what I'm doing and then I forget that we have to get the Oaks, um, letter or something, Oaks parcel. 
from the Pokemart. And then we gotta go back. So, uh, apparently I, uh, I'm not as good, uh, or I don't know as much about this game as I thought, because I forget one of the easy things. You can't go down the left route to have an easier time, but I kind of am curious to see what Pokemon are here. So I'm gonna go down, uh, I guess the more difficult route. Alright, we've already seen you. Uh, it is a one-to-one -one randomizer, so you are gonna see, like, repeats of Pokemon. They'll probably be just those two Pokemon, because I think it's only, like, Rattata and Pidgey that spawn normally. So we're not... We're probably not going to see much variety on this route. We're probably just going to see them appear over and over, so... Nothing too crazy with that. Uh, let's go ahead and deliver... Uh, the parcel to Oak. Hello, Oak. Uh, alright. Cool. Now that's that's done. Oh, oh, Gary's back. Oh yeah, this is where we get the Pokedex. Right, 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 right. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna grab the Pokedex. Sorry if I'm kind of skipping through stuff. If I was doing, like, a normal Fire Red playthrough, I would probably read all the dialogue and stuff. Uh, but since this is, like, a randomizer, like, I'm, I'm assuming that you probably already know how this game goes. So I don't think I need to sit here and read everything, especially when this game doesn't really have a very compelling story. Um, that needs to be told or anything, so. Uh, kind of what's happening here is Oak's just giving us her Pokedex. Gary's being a brat, but that's okay. Uh, we're just gonna go and we're gonna just continue on our journey. Uh, and hopefully find some more interesting Pokemon than we have so far. Alright, so let's just go with the right one here. We've kind of seen everything there is to see here because there's really only two Pokemon spawns. There might be like a more rare like 5% chance spawn here, but I don't think so. I'm not sure. I think it's literally just Pidgey and Rotata, which are being replaced by Zatu and Claydol. So. But there is more to be seen on other routes. Which should be very interesting. Now, I don't know what's going to replace the Wonder One, because it's only in the area, it's not globally. So, it's only area Wonder One, so I don't think it'll uh, replace... Uh every single Rattata with a Zatu or a Gladol for the Pidgey, vice versa, you know. So if I go here, I shouldn't see a Gladol or a Zatu. At all. Uh, no, I see Tropius. Uh, that's pretty interesting. So we got a Tropius here. Uh, what is it gonna use on me? I'm just curious. If he uses a Grass move, that might be a little, uh, bad. Uh, I just want to get some extra XP on Geodude if possible. Uh, okay, so you're gonna use Gust, that's fine. I don't think you have any grass moves right now. Which is a good thing. You're just gonna Leer, which is fine. But my defense fell, it's okay. So yeah, there's a tro Tropius is here, which is cool. I don't know if I'm gonna use Tropius. I really don't know what I want to catch, is the thing. I really don't know. Uh, so I can do my rival battle here early. Which I'm going to do. Because it is easier to do it like this. Because if you don't know, if you bat if you don't battle uh, Gary or Blue or whatever, if you don't battle your rival, ah, your rival here, also he has a level 9 hair cross, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. If you, you if you battle your rival here, you don't you don't have to battle him here at the end of the game. So you can either battle him now or at the end of the game. And actually, this might not have been a bad idea or it might not have been a good idea. I'm mixing my words a lot right now, and we might actually die. So maybe this wasn't a good idea. Maybe we should come back to this later. Uh, because I did not realize he was gonna have a level nine Heracross. Uh, all right. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I kind of forgot what Max Ford did. I guess. Uh, so that was kind of a dumb thing for me to do. Uh, I think we're just gonna accept our fate. We're gonna die. 
That's all fine. Uh, so yeah, we'll come back to that later, I guess. I had the impression that that would be easier, uh, but it is not. Uh, so we'll come back after we got a few more Pokemon and a few more levels. Uh, but I don't want to wait until the very end of the game to do that, definitely, so. That's a rip. First death already. Good thing it's not Nuzlocke, right? Or else we would have already lost. Alright. Yeah, I know I should buy potion. So I guess we'll just go to Varian Forest. Uh, would be the smart thing to do, but I'm still curious about the other encounters on this route. I think there's three different encounters on this route that we can get. So we found one of them. Let's look for some of the others. Alright, so we've seen Shropius before, nothing crazy. Uh, I'll probably just kill it for experience. Because why not? It can't really do much against me, so... We should be fine. I'm uh, just gonna use Leer, that's fine. We'll just use Tackle. And that should be good. Almost level 9, which is pretty cool. Can we find something different, please? Ooh! Grovile! Uh, I'm gonna take that. Uh, I'm gonna take a Grovile. Please don't kill me, actually. You know what? He's a starter, so it might actually have a really bad, like, catch rate. Oh, I think Jody's dead. To be honest. Yep. <laughs> okay, so Grovile might be a bit difficult to catch, actually. Ah, oh, man. That's really, uh, that's really annoying. <laughs> We've already wiped it out twice. I'm... This is... I don't know if it's just difficult or I'm being dumb. Probably makes it both. Um... But yeah, I want that Grovile. I want that Grovile bad, and I don't really know how I'm gonna get it. Not really sure. I might have to uh, catch something else, and then because I'm weak to grass, so it's not gonna be easy to survive long enough to uh, catch it with my Geodude, at least. So I'm gonna have to find a Pokemon that is able to withstand the attacks, like maybe the Tro Tropius here. Uh, I might catch a Tropius just to uh, just to try and catch this Grobot. Uh, because I think it would be useful, uh, to have on my team. So let's go ahead and do that. The only problem is that- Oh dang, why do you have to get a critical hit, Geo dude? Come on. The only problem is we- I think we only have five Pokeballs right now. Uh, and starters have a very low catch, like, rate. So... I don't know if we'll actually be able to do that. Scrovile's level 4. Is last one level 4? I'm not sure. Okay, it used town. If it's level 4, maybe it doesn't know... Oh! Alright, this is my chance. Please. Please. Come on, guys. We gotta get this. We gotta get this. No! Alright, so maybe if it only knows Pound, that's fine, but we only have five Pokeballs. And that didn't even shake once. Come on! Come on! Come on! No! Dang. Ah, uh, this is gonna be annoying. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Let's go! Grovile, episode one, we already have a starter. And he's and it's evolved. Uh, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna do nicknames because I uh, suck at nicknames. I would but uh, I'm really bad at doing nicknames. Uh, you would know that if you watched the uh, the verses that we would do. 
Uh, you can't see them now, but... Uh, maybe I'll make those public again, who knows. At least the crystal one. It's just, we did it, we did that, that whole, uh, thing was so... ...long ago that, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll have, I don't know. I might make a public, it's just, I don't like having that many of, uh... I don't know, it's complicated the reason that I, uh, that I made those unlisted. Alright, so we got our Pokemon heal up. We got Grovile, and, um, that's a win in my book. I mean, like, come on, like, oof. We are, we are training you up, buddy. We are, we are definitely going to do that. Uh, the only problem is that he's evolved, which is good for his stats, but bad for his learn set. I think. I might have to check. But I believe that it's going to be harder for him to actually learn some stab moves that he might need to, uh, to do well. Actually, there's an item there. 